Hey, Payan, are we ready? Yes, we are. All right. We are yes. inverse ready. Cool. Because right. today we will find the inverse of a matrix. So let me show you how to do this. In particular, let's find the inverse of 1, 0, minus 2, minus 3, 1, 4, almost pi, and 2, <laughs> minus 3, 4. So find the inverse of this matrix, and the reason I put it in this way is because we need to complete it. So it turns out what you do, you form a giant matrix, where here is your matrix A, and this is an identity matrix. 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1. And then you just row reduce it until the left hand side becomes the identity. So let's do it. So for example, we can multiply the first row by 3 and add it to the second row, and simultaneously subtract 2 times the first row from the third row, and then we get 1, 0, minus 2. 1, 0, 0, and then I believe, let's see, 0, 1, and then minus 2, and then 3, 1, 0. And lastly, 0, uh, minus 3, and then 4 plus 4, which is 8, and then minus 2, 0, 1. That's good. So again, keep track of your uh, multiplications. And then one th another thing we can do, we can add 3 times the second row to the third row. So we get 1, 0, minus 2, and then 1, 0, 0, and then um, 0, 1, minus 2, 3, 1, 0, and then 0, 0, and then 2, and then 9, minus 2, 7, 3, 1. Now here comes an interesting thing. So this is... Uh, uh, this is in row echelon form, but essentially we just need to continue to get the reduced row echelon form. But instead of dividing it by 2 and then uh, adding up, let's just notice we can just add this row to this row and add this row to this row. And you get then 1, 0, 0, I believe, so 8, 3, 1. 0, 1, 0, and then let's see, uh, 10, 4, 1. And then if you'd like, you can just divide this row by 2, and then we get 0, 0, 1, and then 7 thirds, sorry, 7 halves, 3 halves, 1 half. And it turns out, interestingly, this will give you your, your inverse. So A inverse will be, 8, 3, 1, 10, 4, 1, 7 halves, 3 halves, 1 half. Ta-da! That's how you find your uh, inverse. Now, in the next couple of minutes, let me just explain you why this works. So, what have we done? We had our matrix A and the identity, and we reduced it to identity and something else. I want to show you that this something else is precisely the inverse of A. So, here's one thing you need to know, and like uh, I'm going to skip it maybe in another video. Turns out you can write the whole row reduction process in terms of a huge matrix. And this matrix is what's called the product of elementary matrices. And I'll show you in another huh. video how to do that. Huh? That sounds crazy. It is, it is crazy, so uh, that's very hard, <laughs> okay? Uh, but not today, okay, okay, another time. So in other words, there's this huge matrix R that if you multiply it to AI, you get something I and something else. But now you have to remember, uh, one nice thing about matrix multiplication is that can really multiply every column individually. So it turns out this is the same as Ra and then Ri equals to I times something else. And Ri, let's just R, so Ra, Ri, so Rar 
is R of I and something else. And it turns out this is interesting because you have those two big matrices. Now you can, it looks like a rawr. Okay, so you can, right, R A R. Okay, so uh, with rawr, okay. In particular, you can compare each component. You get R A equals to the identity and R equals to this question mark. So already, this question mark is R. And we want to show that question mark equals to A inverse, but look, R A equals to the identity. And what is the definition of A inverse? It really means it's some matrix B, such as A B equals to B A equals to the identity. But here's the thing. If the matrix is square, there's this thing called the invertible matrix theorem, which tells you, you just need one of those conditions. Oh, oh. in particular, <laughs> what? Okay. Here we go. We just need one of those conditions. In particular, if BA is the identity, already you can say that B is A inverse. But look, that's exactly what we have. No, a is nice. a square matrix, R is a square matrix. So in particular, R is A inverse. So this question mark at the end, so the stuff you get after you row reduce is precisely A inverse. Nice. And this is why this algorithm works. Nice, uh, cool. Uh, right, what's next? Uh, invertible matrix. All right, there. let's yeah. do that, all right. <laughs> yeah. I'll watch the next video though. Cool, cool. cool. And don't forget to subscribe. Guys. Yes. <laughs> yeah, if cool. you like that, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank Yay. you very much. Yeah.